Welcome to the original Gangsters Podcast. I'm your host, Scott Bernstein. We're going to head out to Brooklyn right now and uh, give an update on the Colombo family. Uh, the big indictment from a couple years ago that uh, dropped in the fall of 2021. Uh, most of, or I should say all of the, the people I believe in that case have had their uh, their situation adjudicated. Uh, Consigliere Big Ralphie Di Matteo uh, faced the judge for his sentencing last week. He's going to do three years. And, you know, I, I'm fascinated by, by Big Ralphie because he's one of these real, you know, true sleepers. Um, a guy, he's from Gravesend, Brooklyn. Oh, that's that's ground zero for the Columbos and, and the Persico uh, Mafia dynasty. But I had never heard of, of Ralphie Di Matteo as – any type of a player, uh, whether it be a high-ranking soldier or a capo regime, um, until the, the case dropped two, uh, two years ago, and he's listed as the consigliere uh, number three in the whole organization. So, you know, he's done a good job of keeping his head down, even though he's got a arrest record that dates back to the 1970s. He's got two brothers that uh, were uh, that are in the Colombo crime family um, and uh, took a drug bus back in the 80s for, for moving H. Uh, heroin bus did a nice little chunk in, in the feds. And then at some point, I think in the late 90s, early 2000s, uh, he was caught up in a uh, kind of Wall Street scam uh, in the kind of the, the financial wing um, of, of, the, of, the, of the Colombo crime family in the kind of white collar um financial scams that they were running he was he was running a, a money laundry for uh cash and you know uh, big profits that the Columbos were making from uh, scams on wall street he was washing all the money uh got nailed in that case and then you know kept his nose clean for for you know two decades um until he came and got busted in this case uh with the administration andy mush russo the boss he's He's di he died before uh, he he uh, either pled or or went in front of a jury. And then uh, underboss uh, Benji the Claw Castellazzo pled out. He's going to do five years. Good chance he might die die in there. He's 85 years old right now. But Ralphie DiMatteo, uh, he's 68. Uh, you would think that he's a, a major cog in this family going forward. He'll come out. He'll be about 70. Um, if he's doing, you know, if it's a three-year sentence, he'll, he'll get into a halfway house in, in, in about two, two and a half years. Um, you know, the, the acting boss right now of the Colombos, Little Rob uh, D'Onofrio, he's from Brooklyn. Uh, and then just as we, so you, you got, you would think, and then, you know, obviously Skinny Teddy Persico, the, the boss in waiting would be coming home in four or five years from now. Uh, you'd think that Di Matteo would be a, um, a big piece of that puzzle in, in terms of leading this, this family going into the 2020s and 2030s. Um, it's, it's just of note to say that in his detention memo that was filed, Di Matteo was conducting business from the Metro Detention Center in uh, in Brooklyn uh, after the bust, um, before he uh, made bond, he was wheeling and dealing on, on prison phones and calling back to Brooklyn and telling people to, uh, you know, get all your ducks in a row. Don't talk to certain people. Be sure that this guy gets this message. Um, so they got him really early on in that case, proving the government's case, uh, which, you know, could be a reason why he pled out. But, you know, within 24, 24 hours, 48 hours of him being picked up back in 2021, he's on the phone directing traffic, uh, you know, telling people what to do and where to go. Uh, he's from Gravesend. And like I said, that's, uh, that's the epicenter, you know, the nerve center of, of the Colombo crime family. Uh, it, Brooklyn is not necessarily Gravesend, but, uh, you know, uh, Brooklyn and, and the Persicos, and they obviously trust big Ralphie DiMatteo quite a bit. And I would expect him to be a, a big player going forward. You know, guys, when, when they reach, uh, you know, in the mafia, you're, you're oftentimes your, your golden age is both literal and figurative. You're an older guy, let's say in your 60s, 70s, even 80s. And that's when you're most, in most crime families kind of reaching the pinnacle. I mean, there are obviously exceptions, but a lot of times guys don't reach their highest level in the mob until they're 
collecting Social Security. But you know, you'd think that Ralph DiMatteo has got a good 15 years left, um, and he's he's only going to go away for another two. So uh, he's gone for, for another three years. Big Ralphie DiMatteo. Just wanted to give a breakdown on him and the Colombo crime family. I'm Scott Bernstein, OG Pod. Out. Thank you.